Now for this first part, what I've done is drawn a sketch of essentially what we're given. And I would encourage you to do much the same on questions like this. We've got then a stone which is projected vertically upwards from this point A with a speed of u meters per second. And after projection we're told that the stone moves freely under gravity when it goes up and returns back to A. And the time between the instant that the stone is projected, which I've called t equals zero, to when it lands again at A is three and four seven seconds. And if we model the stone as a particle, we're asked to show that u equals 17 and a half. Now I've marked in the acceleration due to gravity which acts vertically downwards, g which is 9.8 meters per second per second. And to find out what u is, this is a typical SUVAT based problem. SUVAT are variables that we use in constant acceleration formally. Okay, so assuming that you're familiar with that kind of thing, what I'd want to do is write down S, U, V, A and T. Okay, S remember is displacement, U initial velocity, V final velocity, A acceleration and T the time. And we need to take a positive sense and it's always a good idea to take the positive sense in the direction of the initial velocity which is clearly upwards. So positive is upwards. So do we know some of these variables? Well, yes we do. We know S. Remember S is displacement, not distance. So if we're starting at t equals zero, starting from A, then during this time of three and four seven seconds, the displacement is in fact zero. It comes back to the place where it started. So S equals zero. U, well, we're trying to find that, okay. V, well, V, actually, we do know, but I would like to leave it out. When I say we do know it, when it returns back to A, it's actually moving downwards with the same speed, but obviously in the opposite direction. So, in fact, it's moving downwards with a speed of u meters per second. So, if you did want to put a value in there, it would have to be minus u. It's acting in the opposite sense to that. But personally, I would leave that out. A, well, A is 9.8 meters per second per second, but because it's acting downwards, it's going to be in the negative sense. That's minus 9.8. T, well T is three and four sevenths. I'd prefer to have that as a top heavy fraction. So if we were to change that to a top heavy fraction, we got seven threes are 21 and another four is 25. 25 sevenths seconds, okay? So what equation would we use then to figure out what U is? Well, I'm going to use S equals UT plus a half a t squared. And if I use that, then we can put in our values. We've got s is zero, so we therefore have zero equals u, what we're trying to find. So u multiplied by t, so that's multiplied by 25 over seven. And then plus a half multiplied by the minus 9.8, minus 9.8 times t squared, 25 over 7, all squared. So to do this, what would I do? Well, I suppose we could get on the calculator and work this chunk out, but normally when you get something like this, especially with sevens in, it does have a hint that we could actually do some cancelling here. So whether you do it on the calculator or not is up to you. But I'll just show you what I would do, okay? This is 25u over seven, okay? 25u over seven, didn't look very clear there. And we've got minus, now for 9.8, I would see that as 98 over 10. So you've got half of 
98 over 10. And 25 squared, well that's 625 over 49. 7 squared 49. And you can cancel this out as you can see. You can go 2 into 98 goes 49 times and the 49 cancels out with that 49 there. I could in fact at this point divide throughout by 25 because I see that that is a common factor. Obviously this will still stay a 0, 0 divided by 25 is 0, but 25 there goes once and 25 goes into 625, 25 times. So what we could do now is just add 25 over 10 to both sides and we therefore have 25 over 10 equals u over 7. So multiply both sides by 7 and you've got u equals 7 times the 25 over 10. Oh actually I could just cancel that couldn't I? Um, I could say 5's into that goes 2, 5's into that goes 5 times and there you go. If I times by 7 I get 7 5's of 35 divided by 2 which is 17 and a half. Okay? But uh, sometimes I look back now and think why did I do the cancelling? I could have just easily used the calculator. but. Uh, Whatever. There you go. U equals 17 and a half. And I hope you've been able to follow that. All right.